Okay, uh, I'm going to show a little bit of, of differences between the uh, loft command and the curve network commands. Uh, they're up in your surf, uh, surface menus, so right next to the curve menu at the top in the ribbon bar. And loft is right here, and network command is right here. There's a little bit of difference, and they, they come up a little bit differently. Uh, but they're uh, very useful tools for a lot of different things. But as you can see, uh, the one with the uh, two profiles, or the planar curve and then the, the profi curve pr profile, uh, those will be the loft commands. They only need three curves or three directions. So one, two, three. And then your curve command or your network curve command will need the fourth direction. So it has the one, two, three, and then the one going uh, north and south. Uh, so just to show you a little bit of difference, we'll take the first one. There's two ways to do loft. Uh, you can uh, choose all of them and then just hit enter and it'll give you the surface uh, just like that uh, let's take that and delete it or you can choose them individually but you have to choose them in order one two three uh, and then you can also choose to close it which will round off round it off a little bit uh, but let's uh, let's leave it without the uh, closed off and just do the one, two, three, and do the loft command. Okay, let's go back and do that again. Let's take our loft and let's just choose all of them and hit enter. Okay, so there we have our uh, not not bad topography. Uh, it's it's not bad at all. And let's change that to a green layer. And now uh, network command, all you have to do, curve network, all you have to do is just click on curve network, click, select all your curves, and then enter. Uh, but let's back out of that real quick. And I want to show you something. It has to be split, either this direction or this direction, one or the other. Uh, but it will have to be split. But you can just select them all, uh, hit curve network, I don't know what that came up. And uh, it will... Uh, and you can tell the topography is a little different. It has uh, more faces on it. Uh, it's probably a little bit better. Uh, you get a little bit better shape if you look at it. You can see you don't have much control over the width, but over here you do. And on both of them, if you choose the curve, and uh, get your curves there. You can sit there, select some of your curves, drag it up, and it will adjust accordingly. Uh, just like with, uh, let's change colors here. Uh, just like with your uh, curve network, we'll just take this one, take it, and then drag it up. And you can tell it has a better shape. So you can control more of the shape by and adjust uh, the shape a little bit uh, better using the curved network. But you will need that extra curve. You can s see. Let's go to front view. A little bit. This has comes out a little bit more, depending uh, on what you're you're trying to do. Uh, but that's uh, that's probably the little bit biggest difference. And then here I have one again, one, two, three. If I just select them all and I go to uh, loft, it'll put me a nice little platform out there, nice little surface. And you can tell that the, the curves are, the faces are a little bit less. And uh, let's do this one with the curve network. Select that one and do a curve network. And uh, you can also change this to a little loose, S see what it looks like, or you can change it down here. You can also change interior curves to uh, one, 
enter. So you can do a little bit more adjustments. And if you look at them, let's turn them. on to a layer so we can see them a little bit better. You can see that it's just a, a little bit better surface to work with than your loft, but it really not much of a difference, but there is a, a little difference. And then again, you can uh, choose to uh, adjust these curves how you see fit. They do not need to be touching. It takes the approximation of it calculates the what the they it believes this the center is uh, between the two so it doesn't need to be joined there but that's a little bit of a the difference between curved network and uh, loft one other thing about uh, loft I wanted to throw in real quick uh, was uh, you don't have to have a pro side profile on something. Uh, you can, uh, right now I have the split, so you can either loft open curves, an open curve to an open curve to an open curve, or you can loft uh, closed curved with a closed curve, but you cannot loft with a closed curved with an open curve. So uh, if you have some problems with doing loft, make sure that both of them are either open or both of them are either closed. So uh, as an example, uh, let's pick loft and go to our first curve and click our second curve and then hit enter. Let's back up. Let's go to uh, loft, pick our first curve and our second curve and hit enter and you can see that it'll uh, loft those, no problem. Uh, you can also just loft lines. Uh, so we'll go back up to loft and we'll click on loft or that curve and this curve and hit enter and now you have a uh, just one curve going down. So you can loft between two items without any third curve. Uh, just uh, wanted to throw that in there. And then also, let's get rid of these center ones and take these and join both of them. We got two closed curves. You can loft uh, two curves that are closed, and there you go. So uh, just wanted to make sure uh, that was uh, known. So I added that to in just to give you a heads up on that. Uh, but hope it helps. But there you go. Uh, just let me know if there's anything that you might be looking for a little bit more help in or you want to know a little bit more information about and I'll try to uh, find out and uh, get something up for you. Thanks for watching.